Hello and welcome to Time Machine. This is a little chapter on just some of the settings and how they look. So let's open up Time Machine. We can open up Time Machine in the top here where it says Open Time Machine Preferences. We can also go into the System Preferences if that's not up there and open it that way. Now we're going to go into our preference called Time Machine. This is going to give us some gory details of it itself, how it works the name of the hard drive, available how much space is left, and we'll discuss that and how it takes up space here in a half a minute. The last time I backed up is 1.18, .8 the next time is 3.14, and my oldest backup is October 5th. Now the way Time Machine works is it backs up every hour for the last day. Every day for the last month and once a week until the hard drive is full. Now having said that, it doesn't replace information or throw it away, it adds to it. So if you had a one gigabyte movie file in May and then another gigabyte movie file in June, it adds both of those. And even if you threw them away, it still would add them at some point within the daily backup. So keep that in mind that it's a constant addition to your hard drive. So you could have a relatively small hard drive and a lot relatively large hard drive to back up to and that backup one would get full over time. Now when it does get full it's going to prompt you saying would you like to delete your oldest backups or would you like to insert a new hard drive to continue on. So if, and if you say well delete the old stuff it will start the oldest state and work its way back towards you. It doesn't delete everything. So just keep that in mind. So that's how the settings read on that. Now there's a couple preferences which I'm going to go over on the next chapter. A couple little tips and tricks. This is just the settings and how it works. And then we have on the bottom here show time machine status and menu bar. If this was unchecked we notice in the top menu bar it disappears. And if it's checked, it's obviously there. So that's what that option is. So that's really about it for some of the settings. I'm going to go over a couple little tips and tricks on the next chapter that might be really handy. Other than that, thank you very much for watching.